The best part about making episodes is just walking around and checking your buildings and structures that you made and just open the door, chill and wait for 15 seconds because the stupid door then, oh, doesn't even open fast. Let me just walk fast, fast. <laughs> I beat the system. <laughs> well, you see me, I'm actually faster than the door. That's how bad it is, but it's, but it's actually beautiful. I'm just gonna close it now. So I got lots of diamond ores I want to mine today, but I got like so many resources here. Imagine using chocolate boxes as a block to make decorations with it. That's actually stupid, but I guess because I'm Nanogy D. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I will call it five stacks of diamonds. I don't care. I'm too close. I could have got like three ores, but I didn't get lucky. But I feel like I want to place them somewhere special. Maybe like in the middle of the mansion, just on this area. That would be beautiful. Just like one, two, three, four, that's it. And then I start building up. I'm a little bit bored. I don't want to try new things. How do I go up? I'm trying to like parkour. Wait, I can use this one. Huh? Oh. How? Maybe I use my elytra. Oh! Oh! Elytra worked. <gasps> oh! <laughs> stop! Let me go. Yeah. No, stop, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Let me go on top. Uh, how do I do it again? Use your Elytra skills. <gasps> ah! Dumbass. Oh my god, I did it. In my head, I have two plans. Either one of- Oh my god, Skeleton Y! He just shot me! Wait, maybe that's the Phantom? Bruh, I'm gonna fly away. I have two- I have three plans in my head. Either finishing this gold farm decoration, because I- It looks just ugly from on top. It just- Empty. It feels like a cup. <laughs> this is like a golden cup, that's what it is. Or I will just try to terraform this area with nether blocks in my head because I got so many imaginations to play with and I don't really know how to start. Or I will go to this door and start and start actually building the storage system that I wanted to do for the past maybe uh, four months in this survival series. That's the plans that I have in the head and I don't know when to start. But I feel like if I can do all of them in one episode, that would be legendary. So maybe I want to work hard on that. Because I don't want to mine today. I, I got my diamonds already. I don't want to dig anymore at this point. I just want to finish this episode with lots of work around. And then maybe later I will dig for so many diamonds. But if I have extra time and my mind just like said, uh, I'm out of thoughts. Maybe I'll go digging for diamonds. Because when I'm out of thoughts, I like to do things like repeatedly. Like digging diamonds or like mining things, like mining resources. If my mind is out of information. I'm gonna build the tower and dig it. And then after that, I will see how many diamonds I will get out of it. And then get to my banky hut and see how much we got in our record. Because I think I'm so close to get 10,000. I'm so excited to get that goal. But I'll make it slow because I want to just switch around and play with my plans. I've taken down the tower and I'm ready to see how many diamonds I have. Woo! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 14. I don't know how I can count 11 stacks of diamonds and 14, but in my calculation, I already have like 8,500 diamonds. But I'm gonna do something smart. I'm gonna open the barrel and then fill it to make it a whole barrel of diamonds. And then I'm gonna calculate five barrels of diamonds. Let me see how much I have on that. That's the better way to do it, you know me. Okay, with five barrels of diamonds, we have 8,640 diamonds. With the diamonds in my inventory, I have 726. 700 with 8,600. That's like 9,000. Wait, let me just calculate that quick. Whoa! Oh my god! 9,366 diamonds right now. I have 9,366. Oh my god, I'm so close! Oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna cry. But like I told you, in this episode, I'm not gonna go for mining at all. I'm gonna find my plans and finish them and just stop being a gatherer. I, I'm tired of gathering stuff all the time. So, I guess today's episode, I'm gonna finish the gold farm because there's so many things missing. I am missing the floor. It just, this gold farm looks like a cup. And when I finish the floor, I wanna add some decorations on these walls. I wanna do like wooden decorations, windows and stuff and things. I don't know if I can make that work, but if I can... I will make it look beautiful, hopefully. So I'm gonna like maybe work on my imagination and, and then progress on it. Because behind the gold farm, I might just ignore it and keep it that way. Because I really don't want to spend that much effort. I want to upload this episode fast. So an energy decorating the gold farm, activate.
After two hours of figuring out the designs in my head, I made the floor. I made the deep slate floor on top of this gold farm. And oh my god, that actually fits. It's just so lovely. I like <laughs> Oh, these clouds are glitchy. What the hell? Why is it like that? Uh, let me go down. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's just glitchy from the top because I'm on 1.19.20. And things will be a little bit glitchy. Oh, now it's fixed. So I finished this one deep slate floor. And in the next progress, I want to make a bigger deep slate floor just in the middle. So I can connect both deep slate floors in later when I make the other progress. So in my head right now, I want to put some effort on the middle side and then make this floor. Finish it. And then I'll find a way to connect this floor when I build it and then connect it to the middle. So the whole, man so the whole gold farm mansion, or I don't know what to call it. Uh, connect together when I finish the floor. I will try to figure out what kind of wood design I want to make on the middle So when I like I walk around and then see the gold farm from front everything will just look legendary I just need to make this area a little bit taller to connect to the other building right there And then you know start building some deep slates Well, here's the middle floor, but there's something different about it. From the front, it looks like it took all the space around it, so there's like no decorations around. It's just all, it's just this floor, and that's it. <laughs> there's nothing to it. I can add, I, I cannot add details because I, th I think that's all I got from my decoration. I couldn't go further and then do things around because if I wanted to switch my plan for that floor, I would have just built one of these towers and then called for the day. But then it will fail. It will fail the decoration and the connection will fail. So I just went to this one decoration and the other one will look l and the other one will be like that. Just a little bit of details around and then the floor will be finished. But I stopped because I ran out of deep slate. So I got I got to gather another box of deep slate and then finish the whole floor. And for this progress I'm going to finish all of these floors together and then add the windows and a little bit of these details and then I will go to the next work where you know, I'm gonna fill everything up on the front of this little golden mansion. I'm glad I went for mining because now when I open this chest in front of my piston door, there's lots of- OH! <laughs> well, I did not pay attention to my flying. Did not pay attention to my flying skills. I killed myself. Nice. <laughs> this is my first time killing myself with just an Elytra. That's crazy. Hey zombie. What should I- Is this Jason? No, this is just a zombie. I, I don't know. They've been here for so long, I don't know how- I, I can't believe this zombie was here for like- I don't know how long that zombie was there, but it's kinda crazy he still survives. Like, my entity files didn't even delete that zombie, and I'm just surprised he's still there. I guess that's Minecraft. Now I have to swim all the way there to get my stuff back. Nice, Nano, you idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I have no items, I feel like- I feel like I'm playing episode number one. Hey everybody, this is episode number one, this is my starter base, and this is just my little farm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> it's kind of funny if I think of it that way. It's just, uh, there's some people, uh, there's some people that I kind of don't enjoy watching. Well, I don't want to say I hate or criticize their work, but some of these people make like uh, monthly episodes, and every month of these episodes, there's like so much effort. I'm glad they do so much effort, but I'm not really enjoying what they do. When their commentary is a little bit slow, when their commentary is just low effort, and and at the same time they just do like crazy editing, like placing every each of these blocks with just I, I don't know, it's, it's like too crazy. It's like the editing is too crazy, and then the effort is a bit low. Like I would have done what the I would have done their progress in just a week and a half or two weeks, and then finish my editing in five days because I'm fast at editing. I finish my episodes in a and a, f and a speed style so I can actually play the game and then have less time editing them. That's what I do. But some of these people edit more than playing the game. And that's why sometimes I don't watch their episodes because it seems... It seems like they've been working for one week and a half and then three weeks just editing slowly and being lazy. It's just not productive at all. And I promise you I'm not trying to criticize them but th that's their way and that's my way. We are different. I am more productive on the game. They are more productive on editing. 
and that's uh, and that's okay. But I'm glad I went mining and got these deep slate blocks. Now I'm gonna put fortune pickaxe and dig some of them until I get a whole chocolate box of deep slate, and then get back to work. So let's do that right now. That was kind of challenging to copy the decorations from this side and go to the other window and then represent how it looks like because you know from this side this structure is facing that way so it so the other structure should look different facing the other way and because I made the window look a little bit lefty from this side it's not like a whole block like the front of this mansion it's not like this one it's just a side buildings where you just make them look like this and it was hard to represent how it looks from the other side it took me a while to know how it looks because I didn't even plan it from the creative world I was just going with my mind and it was kind of stupid of me doing that because I made a lot of mistakes like how I made the mistake like how I made the obvious mistake from the middle and make this thing one block higher but that's fine because there's nothing wrong with that. The gold farm is complete just from the floors and these windows decorations. For now, I'm gonna actually start placing some wood and start decorating this wall. But the issue is, if I finish this side, I have to know how to finish the other side without without the creative world. I have to figure it out, you know? I'm a little bit silly because I forgot to bring some wood with me. I only have the resources for the mansion, but I forgot to bring some logs. I need some spruce logs and a little bit of blanks so I can make stair blocks and slabs and things. But I hope I have enough, because I only have this one chocolate box. Yeah, I have enough. I'm just gonna get all of these. I have a cool idea to make these wood look better. I'm just gonna place them right now and then strip them with an axe. And now they look much better for the mansion. Because if I just place them naturally, it, ju it just feels like... It just feels like the mansion made it wet. Uh, uh... No, that sounds weird. This strip wood looks, looks a bit smooth and stony, and that's what I like about it. It fits these stone decorations, so I like to use this one instead. So I'm gonna just place one to two logs on this side, and then another log on this way, and that's how it is. I'm gonna see if I can make the height look perfect, so I can actually add some windows on top of this structure. Because this structure, in my imagination, looks cool, but at the same time, I wanna fill everything on this wall. I wanna make everything on this wall looks filled, without leaving any empty areas. Let me do something fun, I'm gonna fall and strip all the logs, watch this. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! That's why they call me the speed builder. I'm just gonna add the wooden structure in my imagination and then I'll show you my other ideas for the, how I'm gonna make this wall look so fancy. <laughs> I really like this wooden decoration connecting to this wall and these just little windows in there so I can stare at it but I just want to make myself a door so I can connect to the gold farm when I go there so I can actually like uh, make myself a staircase or maybe a ladder and get back here and make myself a wooden door it truly looks beautiful but I got another idea to do here too I just need a crafting table because I forgot to make stair blocks stair blocks no spruce stairs no one says stair blocks, no one says slab blocks, stop it Nano. So I got this little idea where I'm gonna place some stair block. Uh, no, not the stair blocks, stop. I got this idea where I'm gonna place some stairs at this wall, and then what I wanna do is get up and then make myself some space so I can make a window inside, but I don't wanna break anything here. Uh, I'm gonna get a water bucket to outsmart this system. Hello Black Rabbit, that's my friend. Oh, uh, one bucket is enough, it's fine. Water here and the water here. 
boom 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 now i can break it safely just making some space and add some slabs on top of it and then what i'm gonna do is get these fences and then connect them oh oh yeah i, I still can do it just add these fences boom that's how it looks I should get more fences. Where is the crafting table? I lost my crafting table. Where is it? I made the crafting table. Oh, I uh, I had the crafting table in my inventory the whole time. More fences like that. Beautiful. Now I'm just gonna get inside and add the glass, just like that. All right. Okay. Look at the look at the golden mansion inside. Oh my god. And here's our first window. What I wanna do is add four more windows on this wall, and then after that, I will get to the other side and copy this structure. I've been talking about decorating this gold farm for so long. And now I'm here to finish this challenge. I'm not letting this thing stay alone. I'm gonna finish it, baby. So I'm gonna add some windows and then come back to the other progress because the other progress will be a bit complicated because I have to copy this structure, but on the other side. You remember when I talked about the other window when I had to copy this, but the opposite way. And do you know how long it took me to just finish this one structure? It took me three hours and a half. So I'm not ready to feel pain. <laughs> I'm gonna try to slow it down. Because it feels like the whole episode is gonna be about this gold farm. And I don't want that to happen. Because I also wanna mess around with my storage system design. Because I'm actually so excited to make that storage system in my mansion. Inside that piston door. Just open the piston door and check out my storage system. Everything is redstone. I love it. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's just fancy. How did I make this gold farm look so freaking legendary? All these windows around and these two scaffoldings and those windows with another portals. How? It's purple. How? How did I get so lucky to make those nether portals add decorations to my window so now my windows are purple from the inside? It's affecting the mansion to the point that it looks even fancier. By an, by an accident. <laughs> Man, I can't stop building great things in this game. I made myself some room right here so, you know, I can walk around and see things. It's so comfortable. Every time I build something big and it's dark from the inside, it's really terrifying to just, like, go on top and place torches and then go mine the blocks again and then go on top there and then place torches again. For me, it's so stressful, even though it doesn't take that long. It takes 20 minutes. I took 20 minutes to just light up the area. But so far, we have finished the gold farm. I don't want to decorate it from the inside. I don't need to add any interiors when we literally have the gold farm in the middle. This is the interior. But now, boys, I'm so excited. I got so many ideas for my inside storage system in my mansion. But to show you the idea, I have to spend some work. So let me just steal these chocolate boxes with me. Oh god, my inventory. Ah! So at this runway, I want to make myself a big platform going all all the way around just a big chunk i might place myself a, a temporary platform maybe some andesite or cobblestone or anything that i can work with Power goes by and we got ourselves a big platform to work on. That's pretty nice. I had to take down some of these andesite blocks because my storage system is a bit tall and I kind of need some height space. But right now I have to build a shulker unloader system for my storage system because when I want to put my items in the storage system, there's so many shulker boxes filled with random stuff that I don't really care about sometimes. But I like to have them as a collection. So it's going to be a good idea to make a shulker unloader because when I finish it, I will make a hopper system underneath it to put a dropper behind it and that dropper will make the items go on top to the storage system. So let me make it quick. I'm gonna test this machine to make sure that it's working because sometimes I make mistakes in this redstone. Oh yeah, I forgot to place the hopper. <laughs> I thought I put the shulker box inside, let me see. Spawn. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to place the comparator right here and then oh no 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 immediately put it right here What's some dust? Uh, I hope that fixed it. Where's my shulker box? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> okay. Let me try this again 
Okay, chocolate box spawn. And then I saw this chocolate box lose the I what the spiders chill out. And then I saw the box run out of items. It will break by the piston. Yep. And we get ourselves a free box. And the rest of the items on this hopper. And the reason why I let the items drop to this hopper, because I want to make myself a hopper system to this dropper. Gotta connect some hoppers around like that until I reach to this hopper. Alright, I'm not gonna place the last hopper because I need to finish some redstone around this dropper. The usual redstone that I make with the dropper, so the dropper get the effect and it will activate the items. Just rest some dust around and that's it. Now I'm gonna make myself a glass tower so the items will float. But let me test it out. I just wanna see if it works too. I'm gonna put some items in this shock box, a stack of smooth stone. Then I'll put it right here and then the dropper should put the items on top, I hope. Come on dropper, do your thing. It seems like we're not getting the items because I'm a little stupid boy. I forgot to, I forgot to put the hopper here. <laughs> The dropper will activate, and then we will see the items going on top. Yep, there we go. Look at this masterpiece. Okay, right now, we, let's finish the rest of the redstone because I want to show you my idea. It's really stupid of me to make a redstone project. But I forgot to get myself some ice. I need some back ties or I can't really push these items through. So here's the amazing redstone design by Mumbo Jumbo. In Hermitcraft Season 7, he made this redstone design for his storage system. And I never found in my life a design that could make me have these large chests close to each other. So I can like jump and open this chest quickly. And then have this redstone design. This is so beautiful. Not even that. It has two redstone dust in front of the competitor. So we can like do this. I'm just gonna put some glass. Fill this with 18 blocks. And that's it. That's enough. I'm gonna add one smooth stone. And that will be collected to this chest. I mean maybe this chest. Oh. Oh, th this hopper. <laughs> Thank God I got the back ties. Let me just break this block and place it. So I coded this hopper to have only polished andesite. And I want to see if the machine works. And if it collects the andesite and drops the smooth stone on this ground, the machine is perfect. All right, test number one. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes! Oh my God, it works! <gasps> oh my God, I am in love with the storage system. One more time. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, this system is so great. I'm gonna place more large chests and I'm gonna decorate the ground. I wanna go with smooth stone, stone bricks, and polished blocks, and make stair blocks and slab from these. I also get myself some logs because my idea needs a little bit of strip logs. Uh, we can steal this one. I will try to make a road where I just walk around and then have this decoration all around the storage system. So the middle area will have something beautiful. So let's mess around. The road is great, but not like too insane. I mean, it's okay, at least I found something for myself. I will rate this floor 6 out of 10. But look at these bushes, I put nature inside redstone, what is that? So we have the road all around this area and we got all these large chests for my storage system. But I think the storage system is a bit too big, am I right? I hope it's not, because if it's too big, my chunk render might not load the items and things will go wrong. And I will just keep breaking my storage system every time I go a little bit further away. And I hope that won't happen. Hmm. 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 Oh, we're getting somewhere. I don't know how this idea came to my head, but I feel like there's something going on here. We got a brick line with a grass platform. Let me just add some bushes around. Maybe it would make it even better. Hmm. Such a good idea. I can't believe I made this look better. Oh. I, uh, I forgot to add more. Well, I can't because there's some redstone around here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna remove it and then find a way to improve it. What if I just add wall like this and then put the redstone dust? One redstone dust. Also a stone button. Pew, pew. Can I, can I activate it? Let me test this out. Watch this. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'm stuck. And we are done with the decoration. All right, let me just open the piston door. So here's my storage system showcase. Open the piston door. I walk through my piston door on my runway, looking at the bushes. And from here, my room to my storage system, to my biggest and biggest storage system I made in Minecraft. And I think that's all I got for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed episode 37. 
I was it was kind of stressful episode because there's so many things happening in the past two days. It was kind of stressful, but I got through it and I got back to my progress. And there we go, you know, we got all that done. What makes me so happy is this one detail. This one detail is legendary. But anyways, I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.